Hello, I'm Tim Price, District Sales Manager for Sprinter here at Keystone RV. Today we're going to show you the brand new 3590 LFT floor plan that's been redesigned on the interior and exterior. Some of the highlights we'll show you on the inside are a brand new island, a stana pine cabinetry, and a huge redesigned bathroom as well. The first thing I'm going to show you is the redesigned exterior of the Sprinter. We switched to a brilliant silver max sidewall. There's a couple really good features and benefits for you folks. First being that it's a lighter color, so it's going to stay cooler in warmer temperatures. The other is the upgraded gel coat is going to be a lot easier for you to clean and maintain. As we're panning down the coach, you're going to notice also the copper graphics that we added, so it's really eye-catching for you at the, for people at the campground. When we go inside, you're going to notice that it has a, an abundance of space for families or young entrepreneurs that need a dedicated business space. Let's go take a look. Now that we're on the inside, folks, I'm really excited to show you our brand new wood cabinetry, which is known as Astana Pine. Obviously, it's light, bright, and airy, so it's going to show better for you um, when you're camping. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is your options for refrigerator packages. We do a residential refrigerator as well as an RV refrigerator, so you have the choice for that. We do have the stainless steel appliance package, so you'll notice you have your stainless steel microwave and a new upgraded 21-inch stainless steel oven. While we're over here, you'll also notice that we added a window behind the oven. That's obviously great for natural light when you're parked and camping and things like that. When we pan over to the island here, you're going to notice the first thing is your solid surface stain, uh, countertops. It's obviously great because it's scratch resistant and stain resistant. Um, you'll notice the high rise chef's faucet as well. So it's really good for your pots and pans with your stainless steel sink. As we move into the living room, you'll notice the redesigned entertainment center. Um, you've got some nice smoke glassed uppers, cabinetry, uh, larger TV, built-in sound bar, and then new this year is a 36-inch fireplace that produces 5,200 BTUs of ambient heat. In your living area, you're going to notice one of the nice upgrades we did this year is your roller shades. So it's going to be a lot easier for you to control the brightness or privacy of your coach. Very convenient for people. You'll notice brand new urban decor that we're very excited about because as you can tell from looking, it ties in very well with all the other aesthetics of the coach. Theater seating this year has a couple upgrades. You're going to have lighting underneath, USB ports, as well as massage. Coming into the dining room, folks, you do have a couple options with Sprinter. This coach is equipped with your freestanding dinette. One of the things you'll notice with the freestanding dinette, though, is we eliminated the table legs because a lot of folks always had trouble hitting their legs and stuff like that, and it wasn't very comfortable. So it's now attached to your outer wall. Another big benefit of this table this year is the pull-out extension as well as the storage underneath. Now, for the folks that do have small kids that want more seating, we do offer a booth dinette in this spot as well. So as we come around, you're going to notice that we did add a pantry as well for a lot more storage space really conveniently located right next to your island and your refrigerator. Now, the next thing we're going to go into is the bunk room. The great thing about it is it's located underneath the loft area. So as you'll notice in here, there's a lot of room for activities, folks. Whether or not you're going to use it for your kids to sleep in or you're going to make it a dedicated office space if you have a home-based business, this room will accommodate everything that you need. All right, folks, as we head up into the master bedroom, the first thing you're going to notice is what I affectionately call the high bunk above the mid bunk. This is going to be the space where all the kids are probably going to fight to sleep because it's just super cool and a fun place to hang out. You're probably going to notice, as all the spots that we've pointed out, that this coach sleeps a lot of people. You're probably going to be able to sleep comfortably up to nine people in this coach. As we head down the hallway, you're going to notice this huge window that's going to be a great source of natural light for you as well. Now that we're in the bathroom, you're going to notice a lot of cool things about Sprinter. One being the huge single piece fiberglass shower with the skylight above it for tons of headroom. The other is going to be the redesigned uh, bath vanity. We added two drawers as well as a door for more storage space. And you're also going to have a solid porcelain foot flush toilet. As we head into the master bedroom, the first thing you're going to notice when you walk in is the redesigned dresser that is taller to accommodate more drawer space for you to have more room for your clothes. One of the reasons we did it is so that way we could add this really large window into your coach. Obviously, it's going to give you more natural light, but it'll also give you more airflow in your coach if you have your windows open and your slide box in this one as well. When you come over here, you'll notice that we have tons of closet space as well. And you'll notice underneath as well, if you'd like to, you have your washer dryer preps. You're able to add that into the coach if you would like. As we move down, obviously, you have tons of wardrobe space as well redesigned doors that now have mirrors on them so it gives it a nice big feel inside of your coach 
You'll notice, obviously, huge king bed, so you've got plenty of sleeping space for you and your significant other. You do have shelves on the side, so that way if you do have some stuff that you need to charge at night, you're able to put your phone right on that and do that as well. And as I mentioned before, you have your windows inside of your slide box, so that way you can have some cross ventilation if you're not running your AC and you're camping and it's a nice cool evening out. Well, that'll wrap it up, folks. I hope you've enjoyed walking through the Sprinter 3590 LFT. If you need more information about it, feel free to go to keystonerv.com slash Sprinter.